the previous video, I showed you how to use the free online tool Stitch Fiddle to create a cross stitch pattern. In this one, when you're ready to step up to some paid software that has a lot more options, I highly recommend PC Stitch. Um, it's been my favorite for years, and uh, it unfortunately only works on PC, but if you've got a PC or a virtual machine or anything like that, it's my favorite stitch software to use. So first we have to start by finding a sprite or image that we want to use to create the pattern from. So let's go to spritersresource.com to find our source image. Let's go to NES and Super Mario. Let's do kind of the classic jumping Mario image. Here are all the sprites, the images to copy and paste into paint. I'm going to right click copy Mario there, open up paint and paste. It looks really small right now, but it's just um, one pixel per square. So if you zoom way in, it's a little bit easier to see. We'll get our select rectangle to find the one we want. I kind of like this little Mario here. So I'm gonna highlight just that part that I want copy because when you're using PC Stitch you don't actually have to save your source image um, you can just use what's on the clipboard that you have copied so come back over here to PC Stitch I'm gonna cancel the new file and say import use the picture on the clipboard and it's gonna find that little Mario I have copied and then this is where you can kind of set the um, properties about it how many stitches wide is this? Um, I happen to know that it's 16 tall and it looks like it's 17 wide right now because I accidentally got one too many. So let's make it 17. It automatically made it by 16 because it knows the proportions of it. And we can pick how many colors we want to. So I'm going to come over here to floss, number of colors to use. Uh, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five because of the, the, the two background colors. So we'll use five colors. You can click to show a preview to make sure it's gonna look like you want. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we'll say, okay. It has now imported our little image here. I'm gonna zoom in and make it a little easier to see. And I want to crop to just our part that we want, get rid of that extra line. Crop to edit box. And then I want to get rid of all of the light blue because that's just background that isn't even part of my pattern. So what we can do is open up the floss palette so I can see what colors I'm working with. That's under view, panels, palette. So these are the colors in our pattern that it imported. I'm going to just right click this one, remove it. You're about to remove 85 of light blue. Yes, please do. I'm also going to remove this dark blue because there aren't any left. So now this is a pattern perfectly good that you could use to stitch with. These symbols up here let you specify uh, what you want your pattern to look like. This is usually the one I'll use when I actually am stitching it to see the different patterns on your stitches. It makes it a little easier to count. I don't really like the ones that auto picked for me here. It's kind of blinding to look at all these white and dots and stuff. So when you are picking your own pattern, you can pick what symbols you want it to have. So I'm gonna make that red just a simple dot. I'm gonna make the skin be um, maybe this one. And then the brown, let's just do like a square. So that, that's way easier on the eyes. And then you can save this as an image, you can print it as a PDF. I usually like to, I'll show you my preferred print settings here. So if you don't have a PDF printer installed already, you can download Cute PDF. it's free. And this will let you print, but it'll actually save as a PDF instead of printing. So when I'm stitching a pattern, I always say fit to a single page, even if it's a huge design, because I don't physically print them out. I just pull it up on my laptop or my tablet. So I prefer having it on a single page because then I can just zoom in however big I want and there's never any page breaks. 
If you're actually going to print it out, then 10 or 12 stitches per inch is pretty good uh, and easy to read. So we've got fit to a single page. I also select print stitches as symbols over color. That makes it look just like it is here in the design. Um, I also like to print the information sheet and we can pick what shows up on there. I like it to show the stitch count just for curiosity. Sometimes I like to know how many, you know, what percentage done am I? Um, so it helps to know how many stitches there are of each color. All this other stuff, it's kind of extra. You don't really need it. Grid page options, you can have it show title by artist, printed by PC Stitch. I usually turn that footer off, um, print the copyright. That's all fine. So we'll say print. It just generated our PDF. We'll name it Mario and save it to the desktop. And now we can open our PDF and look at that beautiful pattern. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions about PC Stitch or how to get started with your patterns, let me know.